Good oral health depends on daily toothbrushing with the right toothbrush, but many people make some common mistakes when selecting a toothbrush. The toothbrush has been called one of the most important devices ever invented, and it has come a long way over the last 100 years. Today, you can choose a brush that uses sonic waves to clean your teeth, or one with rotating bristles, and you have a wide variety of manual brushes. So which one is best for you? The ideal toothbrush is one that has soft bristles and one that's small enough to fit in your mouth. Most people actually use a toothbrush that's too big for their mouth. This brush is too big for many people's mouths, and the thin handle may pose a problem. A thicker grip is more comfortable. If you have arthritis in your hands, try adding a bicycle grip to the toothbrush handle. Or you might glue a device like this one used for pedicures. If you struggle to hold a toothbrush, try gluing Velcro to the handle. First mistake is brushing too hard. They tend to scrub, and we don't want them to scrub. Also, not brushing long enough is another common mistake. You need to brush for two minutes each time, and the best toothbrush for you is the one you really like. That way, you will be more likely to use it at least twice a day. But don't get too attached. Get a new one every three months or sooner if the bristles look like this. We've come a long way now to the, to the nylon bristle brush. And if you have trouble using a manual toothbrush, try using a battery-powered or an electric toothbrush. Even the expensive models can be a good investment in your oral health. For Texas A&M Health Science Center, Baylor College of Dentistry, I'm Dr. Linda Neeson.